Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about one of the most popular but also one of the most complex openings in chess, which is the king's Indian defense. And to give you some ideas and some background and some um, pointers, I'm going to look at a game played by a student of mine online <clears throat> some time ago. Uh, he is playing this 10-minute game. He played against someone rated 1980. His name is Sudip. He's currently rated over 1800 e USCF. He's very good. And let's take a look. <clears throat> so, d4 knight f6. C4 white builds the center g6. One of the key moves of the king's Indian to put the bishop on the long diagonal. Knight c3, bishop g7. Now white has many possible moves. White chooses to build a big center, which is one of the most common of those moves. So deep castles. White could play e5, which is playable, and then we would drop our knight and eventually challenge that center with d6. But white chooses to develop the knight, which is also good. White can also play f3, with the idea to play bishop e3, queen d2, and castle long, and then launch, launch an attack on the king. But white plays the main move. Now Sudip transposes, he plays d6, um, stopping ideas of e5, opening the door for this bishop. White plays bishop e2, getting ready to castle. The bishop makes more sense on e2. On d3, he blocks the queen from defending the spawn, and he doesn't do too much on this diagonal anyway. <clears throat> e5 by Sudip. Notice this is not a free pawn. The reason it's not a free pawn is... After white takes twice, black will be able to take here, revealing his bishop. So, for example, <clears throat> takes, takes. White can also trade queens if he wants. That helps the black rook to play chess. Or let's say white takes, and we can take right away. And then we will take the spawn, revealing our bishop. So let's say <clears throat> takes, takes, and black is doing more than okay. The bishop is now open looking at this knight. Now let's go back. In this position white has a couple of choices. Um, white can push the pawn immediately and gain more space. White can bring out the bishop to wait for us to take and then he has more space. Or he can just ignore, which is what he does, which is the main move. So Zip now plays knight c6. Extra pressure here. Also, he has a threat. Um, the threat is to take. For example, <clears throat> if white now plays e3, we're going to take here. After white takes, we once again use this discovery. We take, <clears throat> and we're double attacking this knight. So if white takes us, we take this knight. If white takes our knight, attacking our queen, we take his knight, attack his queen. And okay, he takes our queen, we take his queen, and we are up a pawn. So let's go back. This is why in this position, <clears throat> usually, white pushes the pawn. And so they place 97, and now we reach a key idea of the king's Indian. When the center is closed, both sides work on the side of the board where their pawns point. Black pawns point this way. <clears throat> so black's plan is to play a 5, attack on the king's side. White pawns point this way. <clears throat> So white will eventually work on the queen's side with ideas of c5, maybe before then c5, <clears throat> and we will see this happen in this game. In fact, knight e1, one of the main moves, 
the idea is to bring the knight to d3, support an ideas of c5, support an ideas of b4, and then c5. <clears throat> knight d7, so d is getting ready to play f5. So he drops the knight back at the same time, he controls this square, so that it's harder for white to do anything there. Bishop e3, makes sense, the bishop comes out, he looks in this direction, he will also play an important role defending in the other direction. f5, continuing his plans, <clears throat> white doesn't really want to take, by the way, if white ever takes, taking with the pawn is the most natural, we can then push this pawn and open the bishop, or we can push this pawn and gain more space. Let's go back. White pushes, which makes a lot of sense. Reinforces the center. So deep pushes again. The bishop jumps back. <clears throat> that was one of the ideas of f3. So deep continues with g5. Notice we're still in book. King's Indian can go for many, many, many moves. Knight d3. White continues his idea of preparing c5. So deep now brings his knight back. Notice we're still in book. Still in book with c5. White is attacking. Notice this pawn is busy protecting this pawn. So we don't usually want to take. Knight g6. <clears throat> still in book, the other knight is heading in the direction of the king. a4. White is continuing to attack on the queen side. <clears throat> Rook f7. Um, <clears throat> Rook f7, as you see, it's not a bad move. Computer wants h5 immediately with the idea of g4 and continue to attack the king. But so Zip's move is a very natural move. It's a key part of... <clears throat> it's a key part of the king's Indian. Um, there are a couple of ideas behind this move. One, <clears throat> this Rook is not very good here. So a lot of the time it wants to go sideways and participate in the attack on the king. The second part, white sometimes tries to invade on the c file. <clears throat> so the other point is it covers <clears throat> this square. Uh, and also this bishop can now come back and defend on this line. White decides to open the position which is not best. Computer wants ideas like rook c1, computer wants ideas like a5, but this makes sense. White opens this line, <clears throat> and he will try to do something there. So deep takes back. White contains with a5. Um, the point is white wants to play something like a6, and the reason he wants to play something like a6, he wants to carve a square for the knight over here. <clears throat> because, for example, let's say he plays a6, we play b6. Now this square is available, and this knight can go here. <clears throat> and if Sudip plays something like this, now white has access to this square for his bishop, for his knight, and that could get <clears throat> unpleasant. So Sudip drops the bishop back, he wants to move the rook sideways. White plays knight b5, uh, attacking the pawn. Also, sometimes the knight wants to come in here, if the rook comes to c1, for example. And so d plays h5, which is not a terrible move, but computer doesn't like it. It thinks white is now better. <clears throat> computer wants to move the bishop. Computer wants to start an attack immediately and now white takes the pawn <clears throat> that was the point of knight here so deep continues with his attack pawn g4 bishop b6 attacking the queen the queen needs to be very careful where it goes specifically it needs to go here so deep makes a <clears throat> small mistake because now he gets four but it's okay because you will still get to see the power of this attack because this rook is not needed to attack the king so 
if white survives this attack, so deep actually decides to take with this rook, <clears throat> maybe it made sense to just let white take for free and keep this rook in the attack, but this attack is still going to work. G3. Now, this is important because at first it looks like white can just keep the position closed. But it's not so easy because now we can sacrifice. The point being is after he takes, this pawn is weak. We will attack it with a queen. If white ever tries to defend, we will simply <clears throat> drive the king away. <clears throat> so, oh, white actually plays that. Yeah, he shouldn't play that. that, that that's bad. Um, <clears throat> and so D plays knight h4 immediately. He should take first. But knight h4 is okay. He is essentially going to transpose. He's getting ready to sacrifice, which is why white needs to try to trade queens. Mine does not do it, and that allows to deep a nice attack. He plays queen d7, actually. The point is he wants to sacrifice the knight, <clears throat> and then he wants to take. There is an interesting question. What happens if white defends a spawn? Well, now this bishop simply hangs, because there was a double threat, not only looking here, but also looking here. Now, white decides to defend the bishop. But now we have <clears throat> the f one of the best, one of my most favorite moves of the game. We sacrifice the knight to launch a strong attack. Um, if might cannot take, he simply gets mated. Queen h3, he moves, and then we check and checkmate. <clears throat> so let's go back. White plays bishop f1. So Deep now retreats. He also attacks this. So White defends. So Deep eliminates the bishop. It's a key defender of the king. <clears throat> Notice White would like to take with the queen, but then this bishop is going to die. So he takes with the king. Now so Deep takes on h3. The attack continues. That's the only legal move. And now another sacrifice knight g4. We want to ch we cannot quite go here, but then because of the queen, but this knight might go in here and cause trouble. If white takes, we don't take back immediately. We can play f3 first, and this is an incredibly powerful attack. Also, moves like g2 become possible. <clears throat> Knight g4 is a beautiful, beautiful move. White tries to bring the bishop back to defend. So they plays knight h2, threatening to fork. White plays queen g2 defend, and he would love to trade queens, but get one more sacrifice. <clears throat> White takes, if he doesn't take king f1, we're going to repeat the position. We'll play knight h2, king g1. Um, and we simply retreat the queen, and we're getting ready to play moves like pawn f3. We're getting ready to play moves like bishop h3. And this king is not going to enjoy life. Also, ideas of bishop g4 and knight f3. And we just have a massive attack, and might cannot do too much. Let's go back. Might took, but that, of course, allows a checkmate. Check. King moves, <coughs> the bishop comes in, it's game over. Queen g2 takes. So, very instructive game. Um, in making Indians, the position is going to become closed, like this. And remember, the plan for you is to push on the king side and go after the king. And occasionally, you might even want to sacrifice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe. I'll be back soon. Thank you.